Alright guys, what is going on? It is a hot one today. It's August 25th. It's just so freaking muddy, muggy. Yeah, I mean, you could probably see I'm sweating, but, you know, pretty much today we're Euro nymphing, got the double nymph rig, waltz worm as my um, topper, and then as my point, I got my Frenchie. I want to get out of the sun, into the shade here, and just, you know, go for some wild browns. The water actually, you know, it's, it's kind of like at that point where it's like, it's high, but at the same time, it has almost like that emerald green tint to it. So I'm really hoping that, you know, it's prime nymphing conditions. And hopefully we could get into a couple wild browns. Anyways, let's on do it. It's around 5 o'clock. Got about three hours. Let's do it. There's got to be a wild brown in this little run here. There we go. First cast, I just, I lost that one a minute ago. Then I got this guy. Let's see what he is. These are, this is a wild brown specific creek. Beautiful brownie. And I really think this is gonna be a good day just because of the, this water quality is literally perfect. Come on, get on in. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful freaking brownie. Wow. All right, guys. Here is the wild brown. There he goes. All right, guys. So we're walking up. We caught that one wild brown there. But I'm seeing... Ah, you know, it's like as much as I want to fish that little side run there, I'm really thinking that right... And that far bank and that softer water there's definitely going to be a wild brown holding so we're gonna try to give it a go on this side seam here and let's just test our luck I also got to be mindful of the sycamore tree behind me there we go little guy is probably gonna pop off or go through my net. I knew that there would at least be one though. Yep, he's through my net, guys. Bye-bye. There we go. Ah, decent one. Oh, he's trying to break me on this rock. Come on. Got to get my net. Oh, beautiful wild brown. Well, guys, this is what a PA wild brownie looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Same exact setup, we got the French Yezer point fly and we also have a little top fly here which is the waltz worm. And again, at the same creek, the conditions are pretty much the same as they were yesterday. You know, it's just that, that real deep hue of emerald green. You know, these conditions are just prime for throwing streamers or nymphs. I really just believe the wild browns, you know, they could still kind of see the food sources that are drifting within these currents, but at the same time, the water isn't so clear where you really have to like perfect your drift so you know I just think that this is like an optimal time to really catch some big wild browns and you know hopefully we could produce a couple fish this morning anyways let's on get to fishing turn the GoPro on there we go
little rainbow. Oh, he took that little top waltz worm, guys. Ooh. Well, guys, here's the little rainbow. Get this guy back on in. There he goes. Well, guys, we're going to try to fish this far little run here. Nothing too specific going on, but... Are we on? There we go. Stay on, buddy. Get him up for me. This one had such a subtle hit, but I'm glad that, you know, I changed my setup instead of a double nymph to a single. Put a little .6 split shot on. And he's giving me a good fight. I believe it's just the stocky old rainbow though, which, you know, isn't too cool, but he's a thicky. I gotta get my net. My freaking reel. I gotta adjust my drag here. A little on the loose side. Come on. Just my drag a bit. There we go. There we go. Tell you what though guys, I mean this is an absolute thick rainbow. Ain't no doubt about it. Here's the rainbow, he's a good guy. He just came out of my net. I wanna show you guys the setup that we're using. Again, here it is. Just a little waltz worm with lively legs with a little Split shot about maybe, yeah, I'd say four inches above the fly. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's go, guys. Back to back. Ah, we might be off, though. Yeah. We're off. Oh, there's a deer. We're gonna fish this bend. I mean, look at this though. Look at the sun casting rays through the leaves. I mean, that is like, if I was an artist, I would paint this picture right here. Beautiful. There we go. I think this is a little... I don't know what this guy is. Ah, uh, little brownie. There he is, guys. Get him back on in. There we go. Oh, come on in, buddy. What a wild brownie. Here he is, guys. Nice one. All right, guys, I think this is gonna wrap up today's video, you know. It wasn't anything too crazy. Caught four, lost one. 
and then I caught a couple nice wild browns yesterday but you know it's around like nine o'clock in the morning and it's just blue sky sunny and I want to go fishing out in the evening so I kind of have to leave early to you know kind of edit this video throughout the day and you know it takes time processing and stitching clips together but you know it just it feels good to holy cow it feels good to get back out in the grind and yeah you know i hope you guys are enjoying these videos you know i don't even know what i'm saying anymore peace